What's going on, y'all? Happy Monday. This is your Data by Live review for January 25th, 2016. Let's jump on into it, shall we? So, we get to inspect the gadget, and he insists on finding his lost found, his lost and found his pappy. Even if it mean this goddamn benefit of fall on his ugly head, and he willing to still do it. So, okay then, you're ready to build and follow your goddamn head, then to save your own dime, knowing your daddy could be dead or not dead, you don't care as long as you save him. So, now we need to expect to get the superhero now, Andre, or are you just playing that crazy? You don't care, you are ready to risk your life getting killed, just trying to save your daddy. But if your daddy gone, you can give it up. And to find out the damn benefit to get that blowed up and this dummy sitting up here and moving around looking for his daddy. Yeah, go ahead and blow his ass on none. Maybe he'll use this go go gadget um helicopter wings like Inspector Gadget got in his head. Maybe he'll use that and save himself, I guess. Yeah, Chad, take your ass on home. We don't need you blowing up. But, um, Andre, he a lost cause. Go ahead and blow his little ugly ass on up. We don't care for him. Uh-oh. Well, Ref, you sloppy bastard. They didn't, well, Ref, you sloppy bastard. They didn't, he didn't find this damn daddy. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm Ref, I thought you were better than this. How the fuck you call yourself the exposure of a body and this fucking didn't find the damn body? Ref, you slipping. Okay, question. This raccoon bitch then hit right Kayla across the head. And where the hell does she store the damn body? Damn, Miss Kayla still alive. Y'all know that she knocked Kayla across the head. We ain't seen Big Mouth Kayla ever since. Damn, what she did? Then put Kayla to sleep for some hours? A whole century? Damn, what she done did to Kayla? Froze her body? We ain't seen Kelly ever since that here for that not took off the head. And, uh, um, Steve might end up finding out, son. I hope so. Cause, Kelly, girl, you in danger. Oh, listen, this sweet Joe is still in love with the raccoon. What's gonna do, give us some garbage for um, Valentine's Day? You know, raccoons love that shit. So, that's what you gonna give her to win her heart, Joey? Oh, Lord, he obsessed with this old lady. Jesus Lord. Mm -mm. Oh Jesus, he'll lose his mind. So you know he in love. He talk like some crazy teenager. If you don't, I lose my mind. Oh, okay, we you losing your mind over somebody like her. You go right on here and lose your goddamn mind, Joey. Well, they count down now. And Andre dumbass don't realize that benefit to go kaboom him and stuff and all. Chad, don't you break your stupid ass in that damn building? Oh, okay, you stay your ass. Yeah, mm hmm. Well, Andre going down. He didn't went kaboom already. Ooh, shit. Okay, you bitch. That's just show fun. That's just show fiance. That the um half of the a a Abigail. Mm-mm. Don't start trying to be controlling that helper. Look, I know this is your first serious relationship you didn't been in. The other ones was duds, including being ass. We gonna count him as a mistake or an error. That's what we gonna count being as an error. We not gonna much count him as a marriage. And you look at you trying to control Chad. Girl, if you don't sit your ass down somewhere trying to control Chad... Girl, now Abigail, now you need to cut that shit out. Don't you call yourself trying to control nobody. Control, um, what's her baby name? Control that baby, that baby you got. Stop trying to control Chad, girl. Sit your ass down somewhere. Season tickets for the Cubs. Hmm. You can go anytime you want. Okay, Ava. You trying to lay him down nicely. I understand this. I agree with you. I'm there with you. I see you. But you handed him gills to, uh, to the damn Cubs game. Honey, that ain't helping the pain go away either. You making the pain worse, girl. 
Have you ever had an upset Slim over you before? Girl, that ain't how you do it. You don't give him no presents like that. He, you, do you not know he gonna remember that forever and wanna talk to you about it? So you buy him that gift, gonna give him more reason to call your dumb ass, talk about the game, and see can you even come to one. So now you just fucked yourself in the ass now. That's not letting him down easily. He need to be let down easy. And you just gave him 30 reasons why to call you all over again. That talk to you again. To ignore you again. For you to roll your eyes at him again every time he call. Good luck, girl. Because now you really got him now. Oh, Jesus. Now he talking about running away. And he can't live without her. Let's see what you done did, little lady. Now you finna have him an all sets fan for real. He gonna be your number one fan now. Girl, that's why you see that's why you don't get people tickets like that. And you heard what he said. He don't wanna remember you. He wants you there with him. See what happens, girl, when you give people gifts. Women, we carry it here. Well, apparently not only is um Rave sloppy, now we find our Ava sloppy too. Cause um, Steve then broke into Ava's room, and now he then found her charm pieces of her charm brushes on that bitch floor. So now we know she's sloppy as fuck, and you know he gonna want answers, and she gonna give them to him. Well, how long Ooh, shit. So now we found out the, 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 the mayor mentioned up for sale for some money. Good luck whoever want to stand out here, house. Because I wouldn't want to go past that hole. So anybody that want that, they more than welcome to have that. So that means Andre gonna be out on his ass, gonna be staying in a hotel room while the, while the mayor of Mississippi to get sold to the girl to the guy with the bags in his hair. So Chad finds that he got money and he got an irrevocable thing. And so he wouldn't have saved his house. That's a nice thing you can do, Chad. Go ahead and say it in the mayor mansion. Cause like you said, that house got a reputation in the name of that house. Ain't nobody gonna want that damn house. So, Chad, you might as well go ahead and save it and let Andre ugly ass stay there. That's if he get out that damn building. Hopefully, he didn't die with Stefano. I'm just saying that we won't miss him if we did. Y'all know y'all won't. I know I won't. So Chad come up with this bright damn idea, but suddenly letting um letting Abigail be the queen of the house that the mayor mentioned. Abigail not up for it. Chad said he want his family to stay there and they're gonna kick Andre ass. So I would love to see that. I, I promise y'all I'm gonna be able to control myself if, if Chad do that kick Andre ass out that damn mansion. And he said he gonna end up, he gonna try to change her mind. And I guess Abigail gonna be all up for sitting in the nice big old ass mansion. Even though the ghosts and the spirits might get her ass, she willing to do it. Cause of course it's Chad and she can't say no to Chad. Never have, never will, not never, not, not never will, not never. Yeah, I know she can't say no to Chad no matter what. So I'm pretty sure she gonna say yes. Ray, if you a damn lying, you give him hope, false hope. Andre then found Steph in body. That's if he make it out alive to get his revenge against both of y'all two dumb asses. And oh Lord. He you knew he love you. Ooh. Ooh, he did go. Joe and then went in for a kiss. Jesus, Lord, his first kiss. Oh, shit. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Yeah, Kayla, that, I mean Kayla. Yeah, Ava, that's a big-ass problem you got now. You see how you turned your back and Steve was there ready to ready to beat the brakes off of your ass. Yeah, that's a big-ass problem. Joey was a teasing, we still love problem. He was a love problem. But now you got a big-ass problem coming your way now. So, Chad up there telling everybody to think, imagine this house would better everything, basically. That's right, Chad, get rid of every fucking thing in that damn house, including the damn chessboard. And talking about the daisy him. He another he want a daughter. And talking about the damn dog barking. So damn damn Chad, you want a whole goddamn football team, huh?
Ooh, shit. Well, you got enough room to do that. I, uh, you got enough room, so go have it. Go right on that. If you love Abigail that much, you go ahead and have another child. I'll be with it. So Steve said, I'm not getting in one of your loudest schemes. I'm not helping you find your son. Kayla said, don't just, I mean, Kayla. Rackle said, don't you talk to me like that. Don't talk to me like that. God, don't let's go ahead and go my way, girl. Don't act like you the victim, girl, because you fall from the victim. The only victim I see is Kayla Webb. You got her ass stashed up at. Probably got her ass in the closet stinking by now. Oh, Jesus, poor Kayla. Still, you better hurry up, time running out while you while you sitting there playing with the raccoon. You better go find your wife. Because ain't no telling what Kayla, I mean, Ava did to her. He yeah, probably didn't try to poison a woman. Ooh, blackmail. So, Mr. Ava decides to come out her mouth and let her have it that. Yeah, I bust Kayla across the head. Yeah, she tried me. Yes, I won. She stayed somewhere. But guess what? You are never still unless you bring me back my son. So now um, Steve got to go on this wild ass goose chase trying to fail Ava child, or he would never see Kayla again. Now, ain't that a bitch? Y'all done let the raccoon and got the hand over y'all. Then got the upper hand over both of you and Kayla. Well, Steve, you better go put on your Rambo hat and go get your gun loaded and your knife out. Got it like you gonna need it, homeboy. Got to able for to see you on the world, to see you around the world in a million seconds. So I say leave now. Go ahead and find this your her baby, and I guess we'll see you back February, March. Not time you get through exploring each side of the eight parts of the hill, trying to find Ava Chow. So good luck with that, Steve. Well, Andre didn't got knocked the hit to knock the fuck out with that building. Oh, but he's still alive. Even though that building thing didn't knock him across the that um bean didn't knock his ass across the head. He's still alive. Ain't no look for us. Andre still on this planet Earth. But now that he didn't found his daddy, hope I hope and Rafe, I wish y'all good luck. Cause oh, he finna get y'all. Rafe and Hope, I pray for y'all too. Cause Andre finna get y'all that's his hardcore. Rafe, you know he can get you with no problem. Hope he might catch a little hell with Hope cause of her her um her background and her family being controlled all over the police station. But yeah, this was a good ass episode though. I actually enjoyed this episode. Wish it would have been an hour and thirty or so. Cause this was a good episode. But don't tell all I got for y'all today. Like this video, share this video. If you like it, hit like. Um, if you're new to my channel, hit subscribe, comment, let me know what you think about today's episode. Um, my social media is down in the bottom bar. Hit subscribe if you're new to my channel, and I'll see you later. Bye.